Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about inverse variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are told to find the constant variation and to write the equation given this equation class y varies inversely as x. So the thing that we will do class for us to write the equation is we need to find the constant variation. We need to find k. And once we get k, just simply substitute k from this given equation. Now, if you have y varies inversely as x, you can write this one as y equals k over x. So, once again, class, if you have this word inversely, there's something to do with division. So, that's why you have y equals k over x. Now, to get k, class, is we do have two solutions. Once again, we need to get k. And once we get k, we can write the equation. So, to get k, we have two solutions. First solution is we can just simply substitute the value of y and x to get the value of k. So let's try the first solution class. So number 1, if our, if our y is 18, so y is 18 class, just simply substitute this value from y. So our y is 18 equals, then copy k, since we need to find k, and our x is 3. Alright, so to get the value of k, so we can do cross multiplication. Right, we can do cross multiplication once again in this part class we, we can have two solutions first solution so understood that there's one here for 18 understood that there's one you can just simply cross multiply to get the value of k so that would be 18 times 3 18 times 3 equals 1 times k so 1 times k that is k Alright, and then 18 times 3, so 18 times 3, I think that's 54, so let's check, 3 times 8 is 24, 4, carry 2, 3 times 1 is 3, times 2, no, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2, that is 5, 54, 54 equals k, so therefore, our k is 54, so in this part, plus, you can have the solution, the properties of equality, multiplication property of equality, but once again, most of the students class, they are so confused with this one. So if you're confused with these properties of equality, go ahead, you can do the cross multiplication. But if you're not confused, this is the thing that you will do class. So to get rid of this 3, to remove this 3, you need to multiply both sides by 3. So multiply both sides by 3, so you can cancel this out because 3 divided by 3 is 1. So once again, once you multiply 3 on the right side of this equal sign, you also do that on the left side. To make the equation balance so you can cancel this out and the remaining will be you multiply this one this is 3 times 18 equals k and you will get the same answer class so 54 equals k so it's up to you class which do you prefer you can have this solution or this solution so our k is 54 so once you get k we can just simply substitute k from this given equation now the other solution class to find k Okay, the other solution to find k, you can do the formula transformation first so that it will be easy for you to solve for numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So formula transformation, y equals kx. So to find the formula and getting the k, understood that there's one here, right? Understood that there's one, so just simply cross multiply. Alright, so this will be simply cross multiply class. So this will be y times x. So y times x, that is yx, or let's multiply k times 1. Once again, plus y times x, that's yx, equals k times 1, that is k. That is the same class with k equals y times x, or xy. We can, have, we can write that one class xy, because in algebra, they arrange the letters alphabetically. So k equals xy. This is just the same class. Once again, y equals, oh, sorry, y x equals k is just the same with k equals x y. Example class, k equals 3 is just the same with 3 equals k. This is just the same class. Do not be confused class. This is just the same. So, you can have this equation class. We just remember this formula, k equals x y. Now, once you get k, this is our equation, k equals x, y. Once we get k, we can just simply use this formula class to get the value of the constant. 
So, k equals x times y. So, if you have x, y, it means x times y. Once again, class, do not be confused. y, x is just the same with x, y. In algebra, they arrange the letters alphabetically. k, x comes first before y in alphabet. So, k equals x, y. So, k equals our x is 3 and our y is 18. So, k equals 3 times 18, you will get 54. So, that's the thing there, class. If you have many examples, example, your teacher will give you to find the constant variation in the equation. Given 10 examples, okay, given 10 questions. So, the thing that we will do, class, just use this formula. Okay, k equals x, y to find the constant. And once you have this formula, and you can just simply write the equation. So, solve this formula to find k and write the equation. So, our k is 54. So, therefore, to write the equation, k is 54. So, simply copy this equation, y equals kx, k over x. And this will be y equals, your k is 54. So, 54 over x. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 1. Is it right for number 1? So, once again, to write the constant, to write the equation, you find the constant variation, k, and once you get k, just simply write the k in this given equation. And that's it, class. That's your answer for number one. Easy, right, for number one. So, let me raise this one. You pause the video, class. I will be raising this one. I hope you understand that one, class. You can find k by substituting or you can use this equation. But for me, class, if you have given questions more than 10 or more than 5 questions, simply get k, class. Once you get the formula of k, okay, get the formula of k. Once you get the formula of k, you can just simply substitute x and y. Because it will be confusing, class, if you do this one. Cross multiplication. So, this is the formula, class, of k. Alright, so, y, k equals, let me just write our answer here. So, our answer will be k so, k equals 54, and the equation, y equals 54 over x. That's the answer, class. The constant version is 54, and the equation, y equals 54 over x. Easy, right, for number 1? So, let's try number 2. So, this will be our formula, k. So, number 2, k, find k. So, k equals our x is 5. So, we have x times y class. Once again, this is our formula for k. Cross multiply. So, we have y times x or x, y. Then, k times 1 is k. So, our x is 3. Uh, no, sorry, 5 for, our, for number 2. Our x is 5. Then, our y is 12. So, this will be k equals 5 times 12 plus. What's the answer? I think that is 60, right? Let's try. 12 times 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, 60. So therefore, k is 60. Easy, right? If you have this equation, you can just get the value of k. And once you get k, simply substitute k from this equation. So y equals kx from our equation, y varies, the, varies inversely as x. So y equals kx. In our final answer for the equation, y equals, our k is 60, 60, then over x. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 2. Is it right for number 2? So, k is 60. In our equation, y equals 60 over x. That's the answer for number 2, class. Easy for number 2. So, let's try number 3. Alright, let's try number 3. So, k equals x times y. Once again, class, if you have x, y, it means x times y. If the variables are close to each other, it means multiplication. x, y is just the same with x times y. Alright, so this is k equals our x for number 3 is 2 over 5. So, 2 over 5. Then our y, so 2 over 5 times, okay, let me just make it big. So, k equals 2 over 5 multiplied by our y is 10. Alright, so once again, class, you have two solutions. You can just simply, okay, let's make the first solution. You can just simply, 2 over 5 times 10, you can just simply divide 10 by 5 because we can divide 10 by 5 plus 10 divided by 5, that is 2, right? 10 divided by 5, that is 2. So, cancel this out. 
10 becomes 2 and 5 becomes 1. So 10 divided by 5, that is 2. So this will be k equals, so instead of 10, it becomes 2. So 2 times 2, your answer is 4. You can have this solution plus first solution. Now, if you're confused with this one, let's have the second solution. So k equals x times y. So k equals our x is 2 over 5 times our y is 10. So 2 over 5 times 10. Now, if you multiply this one class, you're confused with this one, dividing 10 by 5. Now, if you're confused, always remember, class, that any whole number, there is a denominator of 1. Once again, class, any whole number, there is a denominator of 1. So, understood that there's denominator of 1 for a whole number. So, simply multiply 2 times 10. So, 2 times 10, that is 20. Multiply the numerator. 2 times 10 is 20. Multiply the denominator, so 2 times 10 is 20, then multiply the denominator 5 times 1, that is 5. Can we divide 20 by 5? Yep, 20 divided by 5, that is 4. So you will get the same answer class, which is 4. So it depends on you, which do you prefer. You can have the solution, or you can have the solution. For me class, it's better to use the solution class. Divide 10 by 5, because we can divide 10 by 5. So 10 divided by 5, that is 2. And then 2 times 2, that is 4. But if you're confused with this one, go ahead, class. You can use this one. 2 times 10 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5. Just always remember, class, that any whole number, there is a denominator of 1. And you have this answer, 4. Same answer. So our k is 4. Then use this equation to find the equation. Okay, so this will be y equals kx, k over x. So y equals our k is 4. Then our x, copy, copy x. So y equals 4 over x. That's the equation plus. That's it plus for number 3. So k equals 4. And our equation, y, k. You pause the video class. I will be raising this one. I hope you understand this one class. So y equals so 4 over x. So that's the answer for number 3 class. Easy, right? For number 3. So let's try number 4. So once again, our formula, k, to find the constant, x times y. So k, that is x, is 2 over 3. So 2 over 3. Then our y is 12. So times 12. So once again, you have two solutions. First solution, you can just simply divide 12 by 3. Can we divide 12 by 3? Yep. 12 divided by 3, that is 4. 12 divided by 3, that is 4. And then you multiply. So, k equals 2 times 4, that is 8. So, that's the answer class for k. So, once again, we can divide 12 by 3. And the remaining will be 4. Then, 2 times 4, that is 8. That's the first solution. Now, if you're confused with that one, go ahead, class. You can have the solution. k equals 2 over 3 times 12. So once again, any whole number 12, there is a denominator of 1. So any whole number class, there is a denominator of 1. That's understood class. So multiply the numerator. So this will be 2 times 12, that is 24, over 3 times 1, that is 3. 24 divided by 3, that is 8. So you will get the same answer class. So it's up to you, which do you prefer. You can have the solution or you can have the solution class. So it depends on you class, which do you prefer. Alright, and our equation will be y equals kx, so copy y, then our k is 8, over x. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 4. Easy, right? For number 4. Alright, so let me erase this one. So our k is 8, and our y equals, or our equation, sorry, our equation will be y equals 8 over x. That's it for number 4. So let's try number 5. Now what if the teacher will give you the table? Now what if you have a table? That's okay class. That's very easy for the table. So simply use this equation. So k equals x, y. So let's start with this first column. So 2 and 36. So our x is 2. So 2, then our y is 36. So 2 times 36. 
So that would be, so what's the answer class? 2 times 36. So 2 times 36, that is 72. So therefore, our K is 72. So that's the constant variation class, 72. Even if you try this one class, the second column, you, will start, you still have the same constant variation class. Let's try the second column, K equals XY. So our X is 4 for the second column. And our y is 18. So even if you multiply this one, 4 times 18, 4 times 18 plus, let's check, 18 times 4, 4 times 8 is 32, 2 carry 3, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3, that's 7. 72, you will get the same answer. So therefore, the constant variation is 72. That's how you solve plus for the table. You simply multiply x and y to get the constant variation. Alright, so therefore our k is 72 and our equation, that would be y equals k over x. So that would be y equals our k is 72 over x. That's it plus all set. Alright, all set for number 5, right? So k equals 72 and then y equals 72 over x. That's it plus. Now you try this one class. Let me check if you understand our topic for inverse variation. So you try, just try class. What if your y is, okay, let's move, let's put it here. So just try that this will be number 6. So what if your y is equals to 15? And your k, okay, or your x, so y is equals to 15, sorry, your x. So y is equals to 15. And your x is equals to 3 over 5. So let me check class if you understand our topic. You find k and then you write the equation. So y equals 15 and x equals 3 over 5. So you find k and then you write the equation class. Number 6. Let me check class if you understand our topic. Alright, so I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends' class and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.